when they hate it, didn't think we make it How they break they neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me If you, you if you, record me? I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here. Oh, hold on, hold this, bro. I you walk up it. on me, bro. I'm gonna drop your shit. Don't walk up on me, sir. And what up, what up, what up? What's good with y'all? All right, so what are we getting into today? We're about to be heading out to the gym. I'm actually about to be checking out a local gym next to me for some personal training. Get the gains back, cut the weight. You know, that way I'm overall just feeling healthy like the old me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that doesn't mean I'm stopping the Muay Thai stuff. I definitely continue to do that, but. I just need, you know, the extra push. So uh, my goal is to, I'd like to personally work out like five, six days a week like I used to. And now I just, you know, been getting lazy. So I need to put a little bit of discipline back in my, up, uh, black in my life, back in my life. That way I just get everything back in order and we continue to make these gains. <clears throat> and then after that, we're gonna be heading to Saks Fee Shop. Uh, the C6 is done. So we're gonna be going over there I'll be kind of telling you guys what, what's changed, what's been going down since the last time I've been posting. You guys know I've been on vacation. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're getting into. So uh, let me get ready to get ready. Man, look at these dirty cars, boy. Jeez. I definitely need to wash my FD and my 300ZX. All right, what's good, my lovely people? Hold on. Oh, y'all see that? Oh. That's our little wristband. We did sign up for the gym. So uh, starting next week, we're going to be uh, hitting the gym. And yeah, we're going to be back to five days a week like I was two two years ago or so. <laughs> but yeah, as y'all can see, man, we're here at Saxby Shop. So by the going here, check on the C5, C6. So I did have a reason why I come in here. I actually want to try this blow valve off on the C6. This is my old blow valve for my 350Z. If you guys remember, I had two of these things on there and it sounded Sound of sick, so I've never heard a vet run this. Uh, yeah, I've never heard a vet run this blow valve on a supercharged setup or even at all. So, uh, I want to hear how it sounds. Maybe it'll give us a, a unique, different type of sound. So, we're gonna try that out. What's up, Blood? Man, you I almost hit me, bro. Man, well, you need to watch out. Just saying, bro, let me open no doors like that. I should have let hey, you hit you me and go back out. You should have, ain't no sign on there that says door, door swings open. You ever seen a door swing close? Yes, I have. Cause you ever walk open. in, you ever walk in a store and it'd be like push pull? No, I get confused uh, the, the, and it'd be like this. Oh, I was gonna lift. That pulls the character. Where the hell my car? The f my C6 at? Where my C6 at? Where my car? Where's me car? Man, I'm gonna walk into a shop and my car in here, bro. What's the man? Hold on, bro. Where my car at, blood? Hold on, bro. <laughs> All right, so the problem child is on the lift. Damn, look at that new sick exhaust, though. So, uh, one thing that we have been having an issue with was we had lost fuel pressure and everything. You guys remember a long time ago, this thing did leave your boy stranded. This line that goes on the AEM pump ended up sliding off. I have the AEM 340 pump on here and it's done this before. So check this out. This is the line that goes on there. And you can see right here, there's no there's no bar fitting like right here. It has the bar fitting to, to hold the line so it doesn't pop off. Well, on the AEM pump, there's no barb. So when you have 60 pounds of base pressure, ends up sliding this thing off and then slipping and yeah but so hopefully that's been the whole thing that's been going on with the sputtering issue maybe it was sliding off and we're losing fuel pressure or something i don't know but that is one of the, the problems right now that uh we're uh trying to get situated and fixed so once we get the pump back in drop this thing down jason probably has to do a recent another map jason was saying that he had to add like 40 percent more fuel to it so it was all whacked out. Where's the line at? So yeah, it was probably losing fuel. Look, it's all ripped up. We we're probably losing fuel pressure through there. 
Yeah, seems like it's holding pressure, but yeah. So once the C6 is back, we're gonna throw this on there and try this. Oh shit, he about to come over here asking for money. Don't come over here asking for no money, blood. So y'all know Ray got that sick ass V, but y'all see him selling drugs in this car. That's the undo drug dealer bucket right here. The money maker. All right, so me and Ray just went and picked up the C6. So this is what the new setup is looking like. See, we got the the dual 12 inch brushless fans or 11 inch fans, whatever you want to call them. Everything back together, all nice and clean. Look at that big ass shroud. So the car no longer has overheating problems so far from what we've seen. Even at the alignment shop, they uh, they recharged the AC into the alignment and stuff. They said that um, while I was sitting there idling, it was like 180 something. So they're like, yeah, before it was like 219, just sitting there. So it's looking like right now we're uh, we're staying cool. So I'm gonna be returning the 17 inch fan, getting that thing back over to uh, Dewitt's, and we're gonna see how this thing performs once we get like a, a hot day where it's like 100 uh, 100 degrees out. So yeah, this thing's just about about ready. We got Jason coming tomorrow to uh, take the trainer wheels off. You guys know that this thing has been like down on boost, down on timing, down on RPM, like everything's turned down right now. So tomorrow he's gonna finally turn me back up. And then I think Saturday we should be uh, strapping back down on the dyno and getting the power back out of this. And something that y'all have been waiting for like crazy uh, you guys have been wanting to see this run. This run is supposed to go down with my C5, but seeing as how the C6 is done now, we're gonna make it happen with the C6 instead of the C5. So a lot of y'all been ready to see me run that full Jensen's 1,000 horsepower Hellcat. So that should be going down this Sunday if all goes as planned. So yeah, we're looking forward to that. Taking bets, who you, who you got your money on? I don't know. Hellcat or vet? We lose this because you built this shit. Driving mod. Oh no, I got I got driver mod. For me, I got the bars. I think I'm gonna put the drag pack on here too for it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Put the the drag pack that was on here on this thing. Oh yeah. So now on the list, what we're about to do is we're gonna be swapping this blow off out real quick. I'm gonna swap this on. See y'all can hear this. this thing's going, I'm, I'm interested in seeing how this sounds. Like I said, I've I've never heard a vet with this blow valve on it. Everybody, like any any of the, the supercharged LSs here, like look, we've got the big red pro charge right here. Uh my C5 has a tile. Yep. So he has the big red. And then you never heard this? Big bubble or what? Nah, I got the big bubble on there right now. What the fuck is this little thing? Max flow race that little thing about to make some noise. Bet. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a different sound. Yeah, I've never even seen that before. I know. I'm about to change the vet world right now. This came off. This came off my 350Z. I had two of them on there though. And you go pull the vet. And then this one over here. I'm pretty sure this has the big red. Yep, big red. So yeah, let's, let's get this on. Let me give y'all a little before clip right now, so y'all can hear how it sounds with this, and then we'll get the we'll get the after with with this John on there. Calling Rev, calling Rev. Ray's over there looking for a submergible fuel line for the C5. <laughs> I'm trying to be like, bro, rev this thing so we can we can get the clip, and then I can start pulling the other one off. So this is the before. To record.
The motherfucker went flying. All right, new blow off Al on. But the hell out. It's like a different sound. More of a whistle. Whistle tip go woo woo woo. Rev it again. I like that. Like the small diameter of it probably does that. It's just the, the shape of it, how they have the little the little arms. Mm -hmm. Where the air hits it, it makes that different sound. I feel like the, the big bubba is probably louder in the whoosh. Yeah, it's louder in the whoosh department, but it don't got no department. You know? Yeah. Alright, so race on the phone trying to find this hole that's been calling around. But yeah, man, let me know what y'all think of that. This one sounds... doesn't have as much whoosh. It's not as whooshy, but it sounds more like a... like a... kind of sounds like a turbo, if I, if I should say. It has more of the... versus the whoosh. So, maybe I'll drive it around and see how it sounds with the, with the load on it get a better idea what you think what you think of the sound he just heard it let's go drive it come on I want to hear how it sounds from the outside you'll need that fuel line so that sounds from the inside too <laughs> Alright, so we're about to go take this thing out, see what this thing sounds like under a load. And we're also about to be picking up some fuel line holes. I guess Ray found the submergible hole somewhere, so we gotta go pick it up. Let's see how I feel about this blow valve. I kind of miss my whoosh already. All right, so whew, pulling up to Napa right now, and these fans are the truth. Proven now, proven. We got to 223 after we had got here. We sat there with the AC on, with the fan on, and it started pulling the temperature down. Before it would not recover when it was just idling like that, and pulled down hella, started cooling down. So these fans work. They was doubting it. All this new shit you trying? And now look at them, made them a believer. What happens all that? I'm always trying different shit and going against the grain. Now look. Man, I told you those fans were gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> About to be the new Saxby shop recipe. I told him I need five percent, five percent cut from everybody that go start converting vests to these fans. Hot outside, got to sit there with the AC on. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Proven. Proven now. You tell him to mark this up before we got here. Man, I could have got a whole roll of eBay, bro, for that price. Sad, I guess bro. this is submersible mm -hmm. stuff. That's why. Right. That's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. This is like brake fluid and clutch fluid. It's the same thing. Y'all just marking it up and put a different name on there. He's gone. It's the poker face. This is uh, a person who does not like to be videotaped. If you want to do that then I'll take off my badge and we can go outside and discuss it. Then I'll take off my badge and we can go outside and discuss it. I mean, that's fine too. If you want to discuss it, I if you mad. I am not gonna be playing this game. Hey. If you, you if you, record me? I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here. Uh, hold on, hold this, bro. You walk up on me, bro, I'm gonna drop your shit. Don't walk up on me. Sir. Throw it. Sir. Can, can I find out what's going on? We basically, I, I vlogged, so I'm recording this. Okay. And then I'm just like, you know, I'm like, oh, it's the same thing as clutch fluid and brake flow. Why is it so much? You know, we just okay. banter. Nothing, nothing crazy. He over here getting mad. So, so I have to ask. 
if, if my employees aren't comfortable with being reported, that's I that's, that's I fine. If he would have said that off the bat, that would have been cool. But him making threats, talking about taking his badge off, I'll go outside and this nigga up. That's what he don't know. I train, so I, if he wants to go outside, we can do that by all means. No. And I'll, I'll be glad to have a highlight clip of me knocking this nigga out. No. That's fine. It, it, but the, we the whole thing, neither one of us wants that. The whole thing that's like, see now, now I'm getting mad because this mother is just sitting here threatening me, talking about let's go outside when, like, this is the shit that I do, bruh. That like you really, you really pissing me off. Run up on me, cross this line. I'm gonna drop you, nigga. Don't fucking walk up on me, nigga. Tom, straight the fuck up. Why the fuck you keep walking like up? What the? Fuck? I understand. You're, bruh, you're angry, and I get it. We we, we said nothing to him, bruh. Now I'm getting pissed the. Off. And I understand that, and I'm, we literally, I'm trying not to. I'm trying to de-escalate it, man. I get it. You're angry. Ain't no reason for for this situation to have got as far as it did. That's your employee, dude. That's him who took it there. I, I all I did. All, all we're here is trying to buy a hose. He even looked at the price on the hose, which I don't, which I don't care about. I got money. Yeah. Forty four dollars for a hose, whatever. I'm already ready to scan this shit and get out. Him on the other hand, he's sitting there. I'm just like, oh, you know, like me and him are joking. I'm recording mm -hmm. him. It has nothing to do with him at all. Absolutely. And for him to jump jump and have an attitude as if i'm trying to make him look bad or anything like that like bro this is this is what i do for a living yeah i do youtube i do car vlogging you see my corvette outside absolutely we drove damn near 30 minutes in traffic to come here to get this hose I get it's it. nothing to do with him if he wanted to be like oh you know if he would have just been like oh, i don't like being on camera cool that's perfectly fine i respect that absolutely but when it comes to making threats oh i'll take my badge off we can go outside and discuss it not knowing that i I've, I've been training to fight i do this yeah shit. he would have went outside got his ass up and ended up on YouTube being the dude that got whooped at Napa, and it would have looked it would have looked it bad, and then he would have been one of those in the whole situation. I'm not trying to do that. I but can I just pay for this and cut, bro? I'm, in, I'm really, I'm hey, like, man. I'm shaking. I, I'm I in a bad mood. I'm ready, I'm ready to go, bro. The way he handled that was way wrong, and I am sorry for that. I, I swear, if he would have just been like, I don't like being on camera, I would have been cool. But totally. I'm I'm shaking right now, and I'm I'm just ready. I'm in I go mode, it. ready to go, bro. You're at that adrenaline stage, man. I get I don't, you. I don't. I really don't do threats. No, you know, I, I've been shot before off, off threats and all that. I, I I just I don't do threats. And I, hey, I was in the Marine Corps. I understand. Yeah. You get to that point, and you're like, <laughs> it's go time. So let me. Just chill out. Uh, all right, so we just got back to the shop. I'm gonna have Ray drive this thing around so I can hear this from the outside to see what it sounded like. <laughs> Y'all just seen that situation though at, at Napa, bro. That was like the oddest shit ever like I think it really was like how about I, his, I'll take off my I'm the type of person to, what do you say I'll take off take off my name badge we go outside and have a conversation about it like like bro <laughs> uh, let me let's hear how this thing sounds real quick huh what oh my bad It. it sounds super different from any other vet that I've like ever heard just because no vet owners run this blow valve they didn't do tile big bubba or the uh, the big red so to have kind of like a different style blow valve is like it's dope because no one has it but I'm not fully sure if I, I actually like it yet mm -hmm. Dude, it sounds pretty good It's a very different sound. Very, very different for. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta hear how this sounds on the playback. That's a very different sound, though. So raise out the light right here. Get one more clip on how this thing sounds. So what's crazy also is the whole time I've been driving this car, freaking my tuner hasn't even had my flex fuel uh, timing enrichment set up and like this thing is so detuned right now, it's insane. This car's gonna be nasty 
after tomorrow when it's all done. I'm the recording. <laughs> oh yeah, just to touch bases on the, the Napa situation, man. Like you got, y'all seen what happened like firsthand. Uh, I guess the manager had told me that was his first time seeing it, but the other employee worker that was working there said that that was like a regular thing. And the manager said that he's been hearing it, but that was the first time he got to see it uh, for himself, so. You know, he apologized and everything, but you know, that was, that was wildness, bro. Like, that was a, he was a big dude, so maybe he just thought he, he can get away with trying to intimidate people, but you know, I'm not a little dude my, myself, you know, I'm, I'm 6'2", 260 pounds, and like I told the owner, I'm like, bro, that's crazy, because if I would've went out there, you know, you guys know I train, do the Muay Thai stuff, and it was just like, bro, that's, that situation definitely wouldn't have went how he was probably expecting or thinking it would have went like it the situation would have ended with him getting probably knocked the fuck out on youtube and then just been forever being like a highlight reel of a dirt a dude version of karen that just got knocked out man so it sounds hella sick on the outside does it it does it's loud it's not it's not as loud as the the whoosh but I mean, it sounds it sounds pretty good all right so we're about to be leaving right now leave ray to to fiddling with with the visits and we're about to head home so a lot of traffic but any whatever till next time man Deuces. <laughs>